Among Australia's rich performance car history, one machine continues to stand head and shoulders above the rest. The Ford XY Falcon GTHO Phase 3. It's by far the most valuable Aussie road car, with an example selling in June 2018 for more than a million dollars. But what makes this 48-year-old car so special? To find out, we really need an expert. Someone with an intimate knowledge of muscle cars and Australian motor racing history. There's one. John Bow is a motorsports legend. A two-time Bathurst winner, two-time Australian touring car champion, and according to the website Driver Database, the winningest Australian racing driver in history. This oracle of Australian motorsport is going to take me for a spin in this legendary car. So JB, you've been lucky enough to drive a few Phase 3s over the years. What do you think makes this car so important to so many people? Well, Scotty, I reckon I've probably driven about a dozen, and they've all been just raw, big, fast and quite brutal road cars which were built to race, really. Speaking of racing, key to the Phase 3 status was its success as a race car. At Bathurst in 1971, it finished first, second, third, fifth and sixth. What's more, Alan Moffat's pole position time was 11 seconds quicker than the Phase 2 the year before. 11 seconds! That's amazing. JB, can you imagine wrestling one of these alligators around Bathurst? Well, I can't really. It was before my time, but they were made to go up and down the mountain at Mount Panorama. That's the principal reason that the GTHO existed. It was when car companies built cars to go racing. So that's its whole key, its whole secret. Can you imagine a race car going 11 seconds quicker year to year? I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> You know when they raced them, they, they used these seats. Yeah. So they didn't have, they weren't allowed to have racing seats, so they were serious production cars. So to do a, a, a long race at Bathurst, which was, let's face it, that's what they were designed for, it would have been hard work. In a land of cheap fuel and no speed limits, you must have absolutely been king of the hill. Oh, look, these were the thing to have. In 1971, I remember reading in Wheels magazine, the car did 140 miles an hour down the Hume Highway. We've since repeated that in the Northern Territory, and I tell you what, you know you're doing it. It's, it, it's a handful. Perhaps the strangest thing is that there's never been a modern-day Ford with the performance and gravitas of the Phase 3. Until now. This is the Holy Grail by Premcar and they reckon it's the spiritual successor to the mighty GTHO. Later in the show, I'll be driving it to find out. <laughs>